Banish from me all spells, witchcraft, curses, and the evil eye, diabolic infestations, oppressions, possessions, all that is evil and sinful, jealousy, deceitfulness, envy, physical, psychological, moral, spiritual, and diabolical ailments. Burn all these evils of hell that they may never again touch me. Hello. Can I help you? Mr. Sang Wu, please. Sang isn't available. Is there someone else I can direct you to? Oh, that's right. He killed those children and then turned the gun on himself. I didn't get your name. Regis Patoff. <laughs> <laughs> Bad monkey. Where did they go? They just fall to the bottom. What's at the bottom? Could be anything. Could be some metal spikes, or trampolines, or um, anything. What do you want it to be, Craig? What do you want to find when you stop falling? I want to play. I can start sooner, but that really is a decision for you to make for yourself. I want a client who placed a sharpened pencil up each nostril and then lowered his face with great vehemence onto a desk. Most invented. Remarkably brave. I don't suppose you have any use for pencils. <laughs> You're leaving? Oh, it's Friday, so everybody's just about to head out for the weekend. You have arrangements? Nothing special. My fiance's got a work thing, so I was just gonna go down the road and grab a beer, kill an hour or two. A beer. Do you want to come? I'll need 10 minutes to prepare. There it is again. Do you smell that? I, I don't smell anything. It's like putrid fruit or decaying flowers. I can um... No, it's not you. Ah, 10 o'clock exactly. Okay. I drove in from the valley. Can't you live closer? I share an apartment with two struggling actors. It's pretty much all we can afford. 4866 Magnolia. You know where I live? With Elijah and Daisy, the not quite actors. What is that? Is that about me? That's your personnel file. I think I could fight for them. And with the element of surprise, you could subdue the remaining three. But this is just guy talk, right? We're not actually thinking of getting into a bar fight. <laughs> Forgive me, Craig. <laughs> Mental puzzles. I'm always running scenarios in my head. Hello, I'm Mr. Regis Patoff. Hello, I'm Mr. Regis Patoff. Do you know? <laughs> He's not going to accept half of the money up front. Then you just have to offer him other incentives. Excuse me? You, you have history with this man. You once shared physical attraction with each other. Do any of those feelings remain? Mr. Patoff. You might want to think very carefully about what you choose to say next. Of course. If it were me, I'd him. <gasps> Your battery's drained. No. You'll only make the situation worse.
Rosie can call you a mechanic and you can wait inside. And uh, did you meet her, Craig? At work? Well, most relationships start at work, don't they? Ah, it's actually not a great story. I was getting something removed and she was the attending nurse. What did she take off? A benign fatty lump. It was behind my left shoulder. It was about the size of a golf ball. How romantic. Carry a little piece of the one you love everywhere you go. I don't know that she kept it, but... At the weekends, I always collect the plants and put them in the art department's window. There it has the sunniest spot of them all. Thank you. We can only grow in the light, Elaine. But a risk worth taking. Do you not agree? I, I suppose I could look into a viability study. Can't we need a leader? Someone to help shoulder the burden for Mr. Sang. I won't be here forever, Elaine. I'm only the consultant. When did An Sang Wu stop listening to himself? No one tells me what to do. That includes you. You have accomplished so much in your short life. Think how much you can achieve in death. 